Hi guys, uh, today I'd like to show you what a novice does in the kitchen as opposed to a professional chef that you normally see on TV. Here I have a bread mix. It happens to be a low carb bread mix, but I don't think it matters. Uh, the results are going to be bad or good depending on my performance today. So hang with me and let's see what comes of this. Okay, it says that uh, in a mixing bowl, I have that. Add warm water, 90 degrees to be exact, yeast, which comes in the package, and a teaspoon of the bread mix. Okay, there we have a three quarters cup of water and it's uh, reading 91 degrees. doesn't say to stir it, but I'm going to stir it a little bit anyway. It's all lumpy. So now we have to wait 10 minutes. This recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of heavy whipping cream, but it's got to be warmed also to 90 degrees. So while we're waiting for the other we will add this and start warming it in the microwave. Now the recipe calls for two tablespoons of canola oil. So we'll just add that. Well, I will. You're not here. The recipe calls for one egg slightly beaten. I should have probably had this ready because this egg is really cold from the refrigerator and I hope it doesn't spoil that slurry of 90 degree stuff we have in that mixing bowl. Let's give it a shot. Slightly beaten. Okay, it says to knead this, um, but my hands are old and tired, and um, I got this uh, as a gift from my wife, this electric mixer, and I looked it up online, and it says when kneading bread, use a dough hook, so that's what I'm going to do. Well, uh, I mean, why bother for six to eight minutes by hand when I have this electric gadget? So we'll give it a, a whirl. Now, I'm going to start it on slow. Well, you know what's a good idea at this time? Is to plug in the mixer. It's in the stir mode. Maybe I'll go up just one. Now, because I can't possibly do this much action by hand, I'm only going to need it for, let's say, five minutes. It's just a wild guess. I have no idea what I'm doing. We're only a minute into it and, and things are starting to happen. It's starting to look like a like a light uh, brown dough. We're three minutes in and it's looking almost like it's ready. I don't know what ready is. Uh, so if you have any advice, give it to me. Post it. Here's what it looks like falling off the dough hook gradually. Oh my gosh. It feels very elasticy, rubbery almost. Then it says to turn it over, I guess, to make sure that it's all greasy. We're supposed to cover this. Look at this, it's falling apart. Let me try to mold it back together with my hands. It says to cover this. I'm struggling just to get this cling wrap. Now it says I have to keep it in a warm place. 85 degrees? Where am I going to find a place that's 85 degrees? And I have to let it rise for one hour. Just let it sit. Let me think about this one for a while. I'm sure I screwed everything up. Knowing that this has to sit for 
an hour in about 85 degree temperature. I put the oven on warm and then I put it in the oven. But I forgot to turn the oven off after a minute or two. And I left the oven on for like seven or eight minutes and this thing is hot. And now I think I've, I've killed all the little guys inside that make this dough rise. I don't know. We'll see. Now I've preheated the oven while we're waiting for that uh, dough to rise. And I preheated it to 350 degrees. And I'm supposed to grease a loaf pan. And uh, you see I've got one here. All right, what I've done is I sprayed this baking pan with vegetable oil. I'm still waiting for this to finish rising, and it looks like it's doing some good. And last, I've set the temperature and preheated the oven to 350 degrees. It's been an hour. It really did grow big. Let's dump it on here. Oh, my goodness. It looks like the brain of an elephant. It says to, what does it say? To pound it into a loaf? Oh, you have to, you have to do that, it says. Punch down and form into a loaf. Not bad. Get out those aggressions. I have no idea what I'm doing. But doesn't that already look like a loaf, sort of? It says to fold the ends in under. I don't know. You know, like these ends here? I have no idea. Close enough? I think that'll work. The directions call for spraying the top with vegetable oil. That's enough. Well, here we have the loaf and the oven is ready, so let's get started. It says 50 to 60 minutes in the 350 degree oven, so I think I'll do 55 minutes right in the middle. I can't wait. Well, I just took this out of the oven and it looks really good. It sort of resembles a loaf of bread. I'm going to let it cool and then slice it because the directions said so. How about if we slicing it. It's not entirely cool. But I can't wait. Wow, oh, that's hot. Feels beautiful. It feels soft, delicate, yet crisp on the on the outside, which is what I love. I think this will work. I'm going to put a little butter on the heel here that I've cut. Taste test. Well, as you see, I've been eating the heel of this bread with some butter on it, and it's really tasty. And um, according to the package, if you slice it thinly, uh, each slice is five net grams of carbohydrate. So, not bad, not bad. And look. Even I could do this, and it resembles a real loaf of bread. I think it's pretty darn good. Thanks for watching.